Hey guys, the long-awaited tutorial is finally here. How to use Synthesia Frame Dump to render videos with Synthesia. However it's pronounced. I know, I know, I know I pronounce it weird. I don't think it's Synthesia. I think it's Synthesia, but I don't care. Anyways, here's how you're going to do it. So, first what you're going to need, you're going to need a couple things. I'm going to link them all down in the description. You're going to need Cheat Engine, you're going to need FFmpeg, and you're going to need... Um, send us here frame dump dot DLL this frame dump file. So obviously what you're gonna need is you need everything in the same folder. You need it like me here. So I have Synthesia, the config, the license, all that. And then FFmpeg and Synthesia frame them. If you don't do this, then you're gonna get the FFURL error. And then it's gonna be a hassle set up. So what you're gonna need to do now is you're gonna need to C D to your directory. So I already did it. What you do is just CD and then the folders, and like I did, I already CD'd to my folder. I kind of failed the command there. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open CMD, and you're going to CD desktop. I'm just going to demonstrate. CD desktop, CD synthesia lol. That's my folder. So... Now what you're going to do, crack open Cheat Engine here, yes, and what you're going to do is you're going to open Synthesia now, you can keep that whatever language you want to, because guess what, it'll just put it in English though, for now. So what we're going to do is go to Cheat Engine, you're going to hit this little magnifying glass up here, you see this, this little screen with a magnifying glass on it and you're going to click it then you're going to click this Synthesia 10.1 and you need 10.1 to be specific because if you don't have 10.1 this won't work yeah this won't work exactly you need 10.1 it's, it's made for 10.1 so select Open here, and then what you're gonna do, go to memory view, go to tools, inject DLL, then inject your Synthesia frame up right there, bam. Pretty easy. Yes, you wanna hit yes there. DLL injected, make sure it injects successfully. And we're gonna use Armageddon as our example because, yeah, Armageddon's a relatively small MIDI, but it's also, you know, it, it's mid for Synthesia, I guess. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people have been asking me to do this tutorial. But yeah, by the way, you're going to need Synthesia. Whether it's a bot or cracked, doesn't matter. I'm not going to give a method to crack it, because that'll get me in trouble. But we're going to obviously... We have, I already have the paid version. Yeah, I'm the idea who bought it. What are you going to do about it? So, what you're going to do, now that it loads, you got to wait for it to load, and then you're going to continue and continue. Make sure your note speed is on max, by the way. Because it's going to kind of look bad. And to do that, I think... Oh, boy. What did, what did I do? I made it slightly faster. I'm going to go back. Back out of that. Nope, it's not working. I don't know what I did. Yeah, you're going to hit... Um, If you want to... um. Extend your notes, people. You're gonna hit. You hit your page up and page down key. So, page down makes your notes fall down. You know it extends. Page up makes them fall down fast. That's what I usually have it on, so that way it doesn't look all cluttered. Let me just do that. Yeah, that. Yeah, I, I'm too dumb for this. So, now what we're gonna do is let me just paste that real quick. Hold on, we're missing a little slash here. Oh, no, I did not put that in the right spot. So then you're going to... I need to change my resolution here, too. I'm going to paste it in the comments. I mean, not comments. Description. The default for 1080. So you need to set your resolution. And if you want to see your specific resolution of Synthesia, you just go to the Synthesia Frame Dump tab, and it'll detect your resolution. Yeah. 
Also, sh shout outs and special thanks to Hexagon Middies. I will link his channel in the description. He taught me how to do this a long time ago. So, now that the detected resolution is there, you want to type that right here. Then what you're going to do now is you're going to hit... And it's a bit complicated. You can't just hit render and it'll, like, render. You have to hit, wait for it, wait a bit. I don't think it's working. You have to play. <laughs> right now because I reopened it. I mean, I reopened it. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? I think it's something with my frame dump. I'm not sure. Let me try this again. Man, this, I, I do not like the issues that you get with this. Try this again. Yeah. Hit continue. Hit this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Let me try that again. Oh no, 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 no. No. I do not want to do this. Please don't do this to me. Alright. Let's try this again. No, now it doesn't want to work. It's his invalid argument when this is clearly the, the right way. It was working before. I don't know what happened to it. Actually, no. It happened the first time, too. Oh, no, that was because I opened it. All right, let me try one more time. I think I might have put something wrong. Maybe it's here. Maybe it goes there. Yeah, it just crapped out on me. All right, we got to... If it works for you, you can just continue on. Oh, boy. Oh, it actually loaded quicker than I expected. All right, we're just going to try again. Just inject everything back. Inject DLL. I hate this because, like... The thing I don't like about this method is that it has so much issues... Well, yeah, today's Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Thought I'd just throw that in there. Alright. Let's try again. CD, desktop, CD, synthesis, and we're going to try pacing. Yeah. This is so weird. Like, this always craps out at the most random time, and I hate that. So. Try it again. Now that we've reopened it. Oh, now it's working. Now you just have to hit play. But uh, it decides to budge. There you go. A few moments later. All right, guys, we are back. Sorry for the background noises. My cat is scratching somewhere. Anyways. We are back, so we have to finish rendering. Let's finish rendering, see. There it is. It didn't take that long. Now, let's see if the files even, uh... And I remember you have to close it a certain way. I think we can just hit exit, right? Yeah, we can just hit exit. So you have to, you have to actually, like, fully close it. You can't just, like, you can't just hit X, because sometimes it just corrupts. You have to fully close it, like, that way. So, let's watch the video. Unsupported encoding settings. That's why we're going to use VLC Media Player. Exactly. See, it works. And there's our video. Pretty cool, right? And there it is. It worked. That was Armageddon. There, rendered. Up, oh, I hope you enjoyed. And credits to TSMB2. 
and Jinjias for um making Armageddon. Actually, I think no, that no, that's Armageddon V three. I'm done. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm stupid, but hope you enjoyed this tutorial again, and I'll see you in the next video that I decide to post after this one. Bye, guys.